Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Paul, South P24. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to turn the Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan into the new Kenobi series Obi-Wan. Here we go. Two minor modifications you need to make to the figure. One, you got to sculpt some new hair. I use some epoxy green stuff. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can get some really nice effect. And then at the bottom, I've extended the pants down lower with some additional sculpting. All right, onto the paint. For the paint, I use this German black brown for the pants. Uh, if you end up getting any kind of paint rub, it's always good to try and sand away some of the knee joints, but otherwise this is a great match. It's also used as a base layer for his hair, kind of get those darker tones underneath. For the Jedi tunic, I like to use an oiled earth wash from Vallejo. A lot of people like to use the Kit Fisto body for this custom because it's a nice color match. However, when you do that, you have to swap out the head, the neck, and the hands. So I find this is just an easier fix and it's a really nice match. I use a dry brushing technique on just about every custom I do. In this case, we want to highlight all those little nice details in the Jedi tunic and in that sculpt. And by using a lighter color, in this case it's called a silver gray, it just accentuates all those highlight areas. Getting a decent color of blonde hair is tough. I use a combination of mahogany brown and yellow ochre, kind of blend it till you get that desired color. And once again, I'm using a dry brushing technique, really with light, light touches, and just going over each individual strand of hair and bringing out the details in the sculpt. Using hockey tape is a great way to create like a fabric look uh, really quickly. So I cut it into small strips and then I'm applying it at the top of the boot to kind of make it look like those spats that Obi-Wan has on his legs. And as a final step, you want to get some brown paint or uh, some sort of wash and just go over the boots, uh, the feet and the hockey tape just to give it more of that worn, lived in feel. Now you could stop here and be very happy with this custom. I went one little step further and just went over Obi-Wan's face with a flesh wash and then just highlighted the eyes a little bit just to bring out some of that detail and also to make them look a little bit older. All right, there you go. We have our final custom Obi-Wan figure as he appears in the final three episodes of the Disney Plus series. Uh, of course, you know, Hasbro is going to come out with this figure ultimately, but if you can't wait, if you're impatient or you feel you can do a better job, then this is really a, more of a beginner level project. You don't need to go as far as I did with painting the face. Um, anyways, if you have questions, feel free to leave comments down below. You can find me on Instagram, southp 24 I'm always open to uh, chatting about your projects. If you have questions, other good ideas, uh, it's what it's all about. So if you made it this far, thanks so much for sticking with it. Um, you can always subscribe, hit that like button, and um, really appreciate it. So yeah, we'll see you next time. All right, bye.